Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and well the other day I had a little bit of a rant on my community tab on my YouTube channel where I said about you know guys if you if you haven't got many battles you know a couple of hundred and um, you know you really shouldn't be rolling out in tier 10 tanks <laughs> to be honest with you because if you've only got like three four hundred battles and you're doing an average damage of say 300 and you've got a win rate of say 42 percent then trust me no tier 10 tank is suitable for you and my advice is go back and learn how to play the bloody game and then move up through the tiers and I made a point of saying, look, you know, I, I, I blame two areas in this part, to be honest with you. Yes, I, I, I attribute blame towards Wargaming. Because when they came up with their idea of 5.5 and the grand culling, it had a knock-on effect on the game. It changed the parameters of the game massively. And I don't know if they, they, they foresaw that, to be honest with you. And the way I, I, I say this, it, it, it changed the parameters whereby trimming down the tech tree in the lower tiers basically means that you can get to the higher tiers a lot quicker. Now, yeah, okay, look, it's like this. Wargaming is a business. They're a business. And businesses are here to earn money. They're not here to fulfill the wishes of the players as such. To an extent. They're here to fulfill our expectations and keep giving us content and keep making us play the game. But their sole aim is to earn money. So yes, they're partly to blame because it was their idea. But... Players are also to blame because, with the greatest of respect, guys, if you're not a good player, if you are a new player, and if your stats, you know, show that you're both a new player and not a very good player, then use your common sense. And your common sense should say, well, okay, whilst I'm entitled to roll out in tier 10, for example, because I'm entitled, I could be spoiling everybody else's fun. You have to take that into consideration. And, you know, I, I, I've done videos in the past where I've turned around and said, it's, it's, it's not right to rage on noobs. And, and to an extent, that is true. It's not right to rage on noobs. However, if I was in a tier five battle with a guy with three or four hundred battles who had a really low win rate, then I am not entitled to rage upon him because he's still learning the game. But when I come across a guy with, I don't know, let's say a thousand battles rolling out in his tier 10 tank, then I have got an entitlement to rage on him. Because he hasn't learned how to play the game. And he is realistically spoiling it for a lot of people. Seriously. Now I know there are re-rollers out there. I get that. But re-rollers generally re-roll to get big win rates and big stats. So when you see somebody with a couple of hundred battles and you know 40% win rate and you know average damage of 300... Either he's the worst re-roller ever, or he's just not a re-roller. It's a simple fact of life. Now, the video I'm playing, by the way, the replay is just there for aesthetic purposes. It's not to do anything. But the second replay, here's going to prove my point. And it will prove my point. And it, I, I don't mean to name and shame, and I'm not naming and shaming the guy. Um, he's clearly an inexperienced player, and he has realistically... No entitlement to be in that tier. Because he clearly has no understanding of how to play the tank he is in. And I'm not saying he's bad. 
And I'm not saying he shouldn't be in the game, and I'm not pointing fingers at him. I'm just telling you he's not experienced enough to be in the tank. And this is the point. But the thing is, this is a difficult subject to tackle because there are some people with lots of battles who you would say shouldn't be entitled to play in tier 10. And the game is not elitist in my view. It's not. Anybody can play any tier. And this game that you're going to see now came on the back of a frustrating day of a really bad MM. And I do rage. I, I, I freely admit it. I don't abuse anybody, but I rage. So I'm going to go over the bridge. And it's the JP E100 that we're looking out for. So we're going to avoid the 704. And then the JP E100 decides, no, I'm going to go into you. And I'm like, well, he's not going to move. So I've got to move. I've got no bloody choice. So I move. And this is what annoys me. So he was like, yeah, I'm just going through regardless. And I'm like, well, what's the point? I give up. Yeah, I'm having a bad day as it is. So I say that, right? I give up. I'm not playing. I'm just going to sit here and camp because what is the point? You know, it's just madness. And this is what really got me because I can see him on the minimap. And remember where he spawned. So he spawned. And look where he is now. And like, oh my god, this is... I've, I've never seen anything so crazy in my entire life. So he spawned on the side of the map that gets him there. Yet he decided, I'm going to roll over the bridge. And I'm going to annoy you. And then I'm just going to go and plonk my tank. Where it would have been a lot easier to plonk my tank. Had I have just turned the tank around and gone that way to begin with. And then you wonder why people rage. And this is what really gets up people's noses. And it's just inconsiderate. Now, he is, to be honest with you, a very inexperienced player. And it's annoying because, to be fair, he should not be in that tank. He clearly has, you know... A lack of awareness of both the map and how to play the tank. So it would be better for him to go back down at least three tiers to tier seven and learn how to play. And then once you've learned how to play, then roll out in your tier 10. And if you have a bad game, you have a bad game. And people are raging on you because you're having a bad game. But I'm raging on you because... What you did was absolutely out of order. It was stupid. It was madness. And, you know, it made me lose my temper. And I just said, well, what's the point? You know, why is the point of playing this game? If, you're gonna, if, if people are going to play like this, there is no point. And people wonder why the toxicity levels get up. Well, they get up because of this. And, you know, mate, whilst you are entitled to roll out in your tier 10 Jaeger use some common sense. You're not that savvy enough to be rolling out in that tier, in that tank. And all you're doing is effectively spoiling it for everybody else. And you're just adding to the toxicity that is in the game. And you're adding to increasing people's annoyance. Now I'm going to show you his stats, and again I'm not pointing fingers at him to say this guy should be downvoted, kicked out, and every. I didn't, I didn't downvote him, but um, this is why I had a little rage just the other day on my community tab. And this is why I'm doing this video because players, guys, if you have only got a few hundred or a few thousand battles, and you haven't got a great win rate, and you haven't got good average damage. Seriously, learn to play the game and then roll out in the higher tiers once you become more comfortable in those tiers. So as you can see there, he's in his Jaeguru, he did 385 damage. And now you're going to see his stats. He's got an average damage of 571. And he's done 2,686 battles. He's fired two shots in that game. He is not ready this tier and that tank he really isn't anyway rant over but i just wanted to show you why i despair sometimes anyway i've been fujit if you've got any decent replays please send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or upload them to my discord server whichever is easier for you
As always, comment, like, and everything below. Um, if you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a nice thing to do. I'd like to send a big thank you to our patrons out there, all six of them, because without their support, these videos would be a lot harder, funnily enough. Until the next time, guys, I'll say my usual stuff. Wit in the present circumstances. Really, stay indoors, stay safe, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that really is what it is all about, guys. Staying safe, having fun, and being happy.